Now let's uh, look at the division operation, which is like one step more complex than multiplication operations. And I hope like all of us remember how the paper pencil division works. Okay. So that process is very much similar in both decimal number system and, and binary number system. What we essentially do is basically we like there are two value involved dividend and divisor and then from the msb side we kind of see if we can apply uh, we place the one one into such a uh, such a position that that value itself is less than the corresponding upper bid values right and then make a subtraction and then bring down the bits to the next position and repeat the process. If we can subtract at that one step, we make a one as a quotient bit. If we cannot, we make a zero as a quotient bit and then go forward, right? And at the end, if my remind, if the value becomes less than the divisor, we just leave it there as a reminder. So uh, remainder. So basically your, your division has two results. One result is quotient, another is remainder, right? For in, any integer division we talk of. And also one thing we need to make sure that we understand for digital circuit, digital logic world, this must be true. Dividend equals quotient multiplied, multiplied by divisor plus remainder. And which gives us one specific property okay that your remainder must be of same sign of the dividend in case of sign operation okay quotient sign follows exactly the same rule as multiplication sign of sign determination but in the digital world your remainder must be of the same sign as the dividend so if dividend was negative your remainder should be negative okay and at, it should follow this whole term, like dividend equal to quotient multiplied by divisor plus your remainder. Like, but mathematically saying, it's, it can be other way also, like dividend can equal, be equal to your sum quotient multiplied with divisor minus remainder. Okay, That's also an, an another alternate definition in the math world, but we don't want to go into that complexity. We just follow this, this, uh, this relation between dividend, quotient, divisor, and remainder. Now at this point, before we go into this flowchart and algorithm, let's critically review our paper pencil method of division, both as a decimal and also as binary. All right. <clears throat> 